Welcome to Tech Brother with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to change the data type of a column in table by using Kusto query. Now, there are some limitations and there are some things that we are going to learn in this demo. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first of all, here is my table called total sale and one of the column uh, is called the sold price. Um, as of now, you can see that the data type of this uh, sold price is real. So what we are going to do, we are going to create this table and insert some data. So let's go ahead and uh, create this table. And now we are inserting the data here. So this is the values uh, for our uh, sold price. And uh, you can see right there, $1,200.50 cents. And then I have another value, uh, 1500 And then uh, there is one more, you know. So see right there, sorry, yeah, this one, and then you have this and all that, right? So let's go ahead and take, a, uh, insert this value, and then uh, we will uh, take a look on the data. So here is, a, we are gonna select our data. So you're gonna select the total sale and execute uh, your commander. Once you do that, uh, you are gonna see the so sold price. Um, so here is 1,200.5, 1,600, and 5,000.89, and 1,500, these are all, uh, real uh, data type right now what we want to do we want to uh, change the data type of this uh, sold price uh, to the integer and uh, that integer cannot hold uh, the values such as 0.5 right that's the decimal values and the integer is just a uh, full number so it can be one two three it cannot be decimal number so even uh, you can uh, try to put uh, as a string, let's say these are the numbers, but you would like to change to string, this uh, data will be disappear. So this data is, will not be available anymore once you change the data type. So let's do that. So we say alter column, total sale, that's our table name, and our column is uh, sold price, and type is equal to integer. Now if I go ahead and execute this statement, uh, what's going to happen uh, is going to uh let's see right here so execute and you will see sold price has gone okay so that's one of the limitation so now let's do one more thing we experiment a little bit more so let's drop this table again and now what we are going to do we are going to create this table right here again with the same definition and then i'm going to create this uh in just this data now after ingesting the data so let's see if we feel like oh the data is there now if i would like to change this data type to this string okay so maybe string will hold these values right so string is a big you know string can hold pretty much all the numbers decimal and all those kind of things right so let's alter this column data type now once it is altered so what you go ahead and select the data so you will see the sold price is gone so that's the kind of limitation once you do that you are not going to have those values but after you are done with the changes you can insert the new data so let's say in this case let me drop the table one more time and now we'll drop the table we are creating the table with the sold price real and then we ingested some data again right here and uh, we are going to select the data. So we are seeing the data right there. That's our sold price. Some of the values are integer, but they will not be even preserved once we change the data type. So right here, if you see it is integer type, at least this should preserve this, but it's not. Okay, this does not work like SQL or any other. So once you run this uh, alter statement, uh, the data on that column has gone. But uh, now you can go ahead and insert the new data. So in the sold price, now I'm going to insert only the integer values. So let's take a look on the data again, and we should be fine. Wherever we have changed the data type, the old historical records, they have no data for sold price. But for the new records, we can keep inserting the data and all. So that's going to work according to the data type, what you have, and you can insert the data. But all data has gone. To work around this uh, whole process, uh, there is a way to do that. Uh, so how we can do that? First of all, uh, let me uh, do one thing. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the table again. Okay. So now we drop the table. Let's create the data uh, table with the sold price real again. And now what we are going to do, we are going to go further down here and insert some data here. Now, this, uh, you, if you see there, it's the same data. Some of the values are... Uh, with the points so some are the values are without the points um, so see right there uh, 1200.5 1600 5089 
1500 so that's the data so it's a mixed data right now before uh, uh, in the previous uh, we went ahead and uh, changed the data type of this column right away here what we are going to do we are going to create a historical table so see i just uh, use the same definition of a table total sale table and just uh, use a h underscore total so sold price is uh, uh, still real so what i'm going to do i'm going to create this historical table and then uh, once uh, i'm done with the creating the table uh, uh, you can see right there total sale has all the data but what is the original data and uh, the historical uh, does not have any data as of now right now with this statement uh, what we are going to do uh, we are going to change uh, we are going to actually swipe uh, the table names so here i am going to say dot rename tables h total sale equal to the total sale comma total sale is equal to the h total sale what's going to happen in this case the total sale data will be shifted to the h underscore total sale and then this table will hold the data and total sale table will get empty so once we do that let's go ahead and execute and now that's done we can take a look on the total sale there is no data in this table and if i go to the historical total sale this is going to hold all the same data what we had in a total sale so no change you see that the 0.5 is still there 0.8 is still there now what's going to happen the next part as the total sale has no data you can go ahead and uh, change the data type of sold price so you're going to say dot alter column table name dot col uh, column name then you are going to substitute type and the new type before that it was a real now we are doing an integer execute this statement and the, the data type of your sold price is changed to the integer now we can go ahead and insert some data now this table some data is inserted now in the total sale we just inserted two records after the change data change so you can see right there 1201 and 5001 that's the value and this the data type of this is the integer and there is a historical data remember that that's sitting in our old h underscore total sale so you see right there is still sitting there and preserved so how we get the data from both of them now here we will be using the union so you have a h total sale union and then you will say total sale so once you join them this is how you will be getting the data from for historical data before you change the, the column data type that's in the h underscore total sale then the new data what is where is in the total sale so you can go ahead and execute together and once you execute uh, you can see right there so sold price is real if you remember that that's the coming from the h underscore total sale that's the real data type right so see right there the values there are four values there and there are two new values the total sale those are integer types so so see right there that's coming from uh, there so this is how you will uh, be using uh, uh, the alter command uh, to change the data type of a column but i don't know if this is worth of it or not because once you do it you uh, will not be selecting the data from single column so maybe there is another way around that you would like to do and uh, change uh, maybe create a new table insert the entire data into the new data type after converting and everything so you want to use it this is another way to do it um, i hope uh, this video will be helpful thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video